Hey everyone, I'm Heather and welcome back to my channel. So we are back today with Disciples Liberation. Uh, I think in the last one, we found the elf queen that we needed to find. We realized we got betrayed and we have some stuff to do. However, our goal right now is to speak to Orion. Uh, so we'll do that. Our scouts bring news, but you're not going to like it. Report. The races have always been battling in Varentor, but it seems our little adventures in each of their realms has aggravated the tensions there. From battle to all-out war. We might be able to end the fighting between the races, take Varentor, and earn Ilian the reputation it deserves. We'd be the symbol of freedom that Navander needs. I was hoping you'd say that. I packed everything we need to march to the front lines, but there's something more. I've been reading about Ilian in the library. It and Varentor seem related somehow. The scrolls call the latter the Profane City. All the better that the soldiers of Ilian be the ones who liberate Varentor, then. Okay. Uh, I do need to get a new person. So let's get back. I've, I definitely lost somebody, but I might have somebody just to replace them. Yeah, I mean, I can just grab this guy. I don't have to get another one. To me, honestly, it hasn't been... Like, getting a whole bunch of different people hasn't really been an issue. These guys are generally pretty good. We do need to heal ourselves somewhere. And she is not with us. We might want her. Let's see what she can do. I'll put her down. Inspect. That's what I'm trying. Melee range. And then this is whatever that is. Okay. Yeah, we'll grab her. All right, now we can go. Uh, I don't actually know where we're going. I guess Varentor. Okay. I'm not sure if, if this takes on the companion quest. Like, if it's over here or if we have to go back. Before you waits the blood-soaked fields of Varentor. Rich in resources and strategically situated, Varentor has been the site of near-continuous battle through the long, bloody ages of conflict. Ah, Varentor, where heroes are made. Or more commonly, where they die. The grass is blood-strong here. Choke points, good sight lines, infrastructure, and defensible low hills. This is a battlefield generals dream of. Uh, a perfect place to make our stand. It won't be when we're done. We may still bring peace here. How about that one? There's going to be more bloodshed here. That much is certain. We need to speak with those generals before they march on one another. And see how much of the fighting is our fault. They can blame us all they like. We fight for freedom and nothing else. But do keep your weapons handy. Okay, so I have to meet people. So I guess we're going to have to fight a bunch of people. Okay, so we got our health back, which is definitely what we needed. This game is supposed to be quite long. But it actually feels like we're getting towards like ending places. I don't know, maybe not. Maybe there's a bunch more. 
The Empire soldiers spot you and draw their weapons. Recognition dawns on their face on the face of one. She visibly relaxes and waves off her men. Ah, the warriors from the hail. I'm glad to see you again. You clearly do not remember this soldier. First you take the planes, and now you have your sights on Verantor? Impressive. How fares the battle? Not good. The rebellion took a heavy toll on us. The priests needed to be overthrown, but without them, our leadership is in chaos. Your children who rage against their parents but cannot face the world without their protection. Repent, soldier. Thank the High Father after the battle, not during. What's the situation here? We're vulnerable if we don't hold the field. We will have come through rebellion just to be crushed by outsiders as soon as we've tasted freedom. Our general has a plan, but we're too busy defending the line to act. With your help, though... Oh... Uh, how about... we'll hear him out. I'll listen to what he has to say, but I can't promise anything beyond that. We need help, and badly. But we'd be hypocrites to try and force you to our will after slipping free of the prior. Okay. And then I have a couple more. Oh no, I guess I still didn't talk to him because there's my blue arrow. So it's somewhere up here. Yes. The insignias on the man before you mark him as commander. He looks your way with a snarl. Ah, the hero of the rebellion upon the plains of widows. It seems we're famous. I was addressing her, short man. Coruscant lets out a rare wry laugh. Uh, we're all heroes. How about that? Everyone that fought at the battle for the hail were heroes. Coruscant, Orion, and all the others. Heroes are precisely who we need, in fact. Mortis's rotting swarms threaten to overrun us. I have killed countless of my former brothers once they second wake, teeth bared. Mortis denies them a place in the Four Heavens. Indeed. Should we kill the Lich that commands their minds, we'd find respite, if not peace. But the Lich Commander eludes me. Uh... I guess we could find him. I've met no such Lich in Varant Or, but if I do, I will stop him. Tell your men the days of killing your brothers are over. Jojanus the eel sighs audibly and shakes his your hand. Oh, good. Lich hunting, my favorite. Okay, so it seems we have committed to that. These ones don't seem to necessarily be part of where we're going. I'm just going to see if there's something up this way to get. Uh, let's just conquer them. What's over here? Anything worthwhile? A bunch of these things. There's this guy. Empire Forces. Apparently they have seen me, so we are going to do this. All right, let's see. Move out. Oops. I didn't even notice Stand that down. there. What's her stuff? Oh, she can actually hit there. We cannot do it again, but we can come up I this way. To victory. Our wolf.
Ooh, we're gonna have to heal her. Glory and honor. Ah, she's dead already. Well, that was worthless. Bones are for crushing. And I think they healed that person. Will you just die? Mortis, use my body. Oh, that was nice. Ugh, confused. But that should get over here. And then we should be Where able I to do the same Die right here. Okay, it didn't actually do that part, but that's fine. You dare tempt my iron? I will bring wrath with me. So it looks like we need to kill them. Let's move. You're done. Oh, really? That's just irritating. For my dread queen. You stink of the living. All right, this guy needs to go here. We can't really go any further. No oh good, they're burning. You. There will be no surrender. And she's definitely going to have to be healed. <sighs> Can we do this? Well, that'll grab those two. And then we'll go ahead and drag that one down. This guy can go. I must have it. And my elf is just very slow. <laughs> we have to hope she doesn't get hit before... Okay, good. She evaded that because we have to heal her. <sighs> okay, we're going to have to move her first. So I guess move here. Now, hopefully, you're close enough to to heal her just a little bit. She might have to heal herself, too. Mm. This one. Stand down. <sighs> and then I guess we'll move her if we can. No, I guess we cannot. Uh, okay. Holding the line. I march on. Okay, werewolf. Let's get this guy. Oh, he hit pretty good. Oh, you. Can you reach this guy from over here? No, you cannot. So you're going to have to move a bit. We'll move you right here. Where I go, darkness follows. Should this be the guy we get? We can get that Die guy. And be awoken. That didn't help much. Okay, who do we want to get? 
<laughs> I guess we need to come here. It won't actually won't let him hit through an item. Bones are for crushing. Okay, and you have to get this guy. The life stream drains from you. Did that not hit him? Okay, good. You dare tempt my ire? Oh, that guy needs to be healed. Okay. Well, she doesn't have the healing right now, so we'll leave you there. Oh, she needs to heal herself, probably. It's, I mean, she, it's better if we have her. Uh, you. You're gonna have to go through this, I'm sorry. Well, you get confused and whatnot. Okay, why, why, why? I don't have you wait. Can you hear her calling to us? There, we can hit Die you from over and here. Be awoken. <sighs> I... I do need you. That's not what I'm trying to do. Escape. Okay, I guess you're fine. Let's see if I can hit you from this area. Death, rebirth, and death again. Okay. And then you should be able to hit right here. Somehow that didn't do anything. He died. We are his wrath and flesh. I will bring wrath with me. Okay, both of those guys are going to be gone, I imagine. These ones. We will be victorious. All right. I mean, they don't have to be. She can... She can heal... This guy. Stand down. <clears throat> Breaking the line. We make our stand here. All right. Get oh, him over I will enjoy here. This. Die, die, die. Oh, come on. If you can you hit her from over here? No, you can't. So you actually need to maybe move right Four here. Mortis. We'll see who you can get. Your beating heart. I must have it. <sighs> oh, we can heal over here. But yeah, healing might be best for her. We'll heal this guy. Feel his holy hand. I go. All right. So, yeah, she needs to be. We're going to have her wait so I can move some of these other people. Pressing the enemy. There will be no surrender. Okay, so... 
From this particular direction, he cannot reach anyone. So we have to move him. This should be fun. I always hate that. I like when I can hit them without having to move them, because then he gets to hit twice. Ooh, I got, I got a specter. Although I doubt that specter is going to actually get a chance to do much. Okay, and then we need to take you on. That was weak. Weak. Die and be awoken. Okay. She can go right here. And hit down here. I didn't help much. Can we hit from over You're here? Done. Yes. Huh. Alright, good. Uh, she won't be able to do anything, but we might be able to... Let's heal our... Well, she, yeah, I'll have to move her first, I guess. Move out. Now we can do that. Stand down. We already did lose uh, someone, but companions come back. It's the other, just Moses, regular troops that don't body. come back. should be it. Oh, we did lose this guy, too. It's fine. Okay, let's grab this. We got that one. Are these other things for us to get? That is a thing. What it's not telling me is what the enemies there are. We got wood there. Let's get this treasure chest right over here. Leather armor. Ugh, anything down this way? No, doesn't look like it. Oh yeah, that that's more than we are, so we're we're not gonna do that because we need a health fountain anyway before we do something like that. But we'll take this gold. And then we'll go back to the health fountain. Okay. We are all healthy now. I don't know how I moved my screen. Ah, uh, let's, I guess, head down this way. We've got these guys. We've got this guy. Let's go talk to this guy right here. Oh, I don't I don't want to. <sighs> Retreat. Let's just run. I don't want to do that right now. Oh, we already talked to that one. I guess we could talk to this guy. An archmage in the distance with the flick of a wrist 
and a violently fast whisper, light leaps from his fingers and slices a line through a group of holy hands. At first, the light seems to be some cruel magic to attack the men. Instead, it softens, wraps them, imbues them with power. The caster turns his attention to you. Impossible. It's him. The priest from the Church of St. Darchild. The sewer rat. A happy surprise. Uh... Why aren't you attacking me? I just assumed that after everything that happened, you'd try to kill me. I've heard a great number of things have tried to kill you already, many of them stronger than me. I think talking is the safer course. Uh, my, my name is Aviana. You can call me Aviana of Ilion. Oh, I know. Before we continue, you should know. You're the reason I'm here. You're looking for us? <laughs> Her more precisely. But I understand that the Twilight Twins come in a pair. I bear you no ill will. I simply want to know why you were sent to kill me. And I need your help. Ah, uh, sure. Let's get to the bottom of this. Deal. I want to know what's going on as much as you do. Excellent. When the time is right, infiltrate the Temple of Ashgan. East of the second Woken settlement. I believe our answers wait there. I will join you when you do. In the meantime, let's discuss what I know so far. All right, who wanted you dead? You must have some clues about how you attracted the attention of the Veil. Vale. Political assassinations are hardly uncommon in this new empire, and my family has traditionally held a seat of power. But murder? For helping orphans and feeding the starving? People tend to treat me a little differently, but setting me up for murder, drawing me out, framing me, it's a bit much. Such is Nevendar, though I agree. You are unique in this world. People fear that. How can you trust me? I don't understand why you'd trust me with this. All serve the High Father's will. If the Fate Hand brought us together, I believe he is the one who ordained our meeting. Have faith, Aviana. It will see you through. And why has no one arrested us? We faced the Vale and the Plains of Widows. There are patrols of Vale Guards in Greyleaf, but in each case, no one tried to arrest us. The Vale never wanted you arrested. They wanted you found. Now that they've uncovered your identity, their desires are less clear. Okay. Let's go. I'll go to the Temple of Ashgon. Meet me there. Okay, uh, I guess we'll do that, but I'm going to go ahead and end this episode. I guess I don't get anything out of this thing. I'm going to go back to Ilian, and we'll go ahead and end this episode here. In the next one, we'll continue what we're doing. Um, yeah, that is everything for this time, and I will see you guys next time. Bye!